hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the usage of a named function in Odoo version 14 so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 14 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 14 development tutorials so in this video we will be discussing about a default function that is named function in Odoo and its use and how to use it so Currently, if I go to the hospital menu, if I go to the hospital menu and if you go to the appointments and if I open the appointments and if I try to create an appointment, here we have a field called patient where we will list all the patient records. So this is a many to one field to the hospital dot patient model and here we can see the patient name is coming. Suppose take a case where you have to show instead of showing just patient name you might have to show their reference also so if i duplicate this tab and if i go to the patients so here you can see in the patient records you have the reference or the reference as well as the name so just take a case where you have to show the combination of this reference and name like hp008 matthew so instead of showing just name you have to show a combination of a reference then name so in this case you can use the name get function in Odoo so what you have to do is that you have to define a name get function for the model hospital dot patient so let's see how we can do that so if I go to the pie charm uh, this is my custom add-ons path that is Dave and if I go to the OM hospital and if I open the models folder, here we have the patient.py file where we have defined the hospital.patient model. So what we will be doing is that we will be adding a nameget function in this model. So if I search inside the Odoo source code, so this is my Odoo source code and find in path and if you search inside the Odoo source code, you can just search diff that is diff nameget. So if you search that, you will be seeing a lot of function with this name. So here you can see you have got the function in all the models. So we will take one sample. So let me take a sample from here. Uh, just let me take this sample diff name get. I'll copy this and I will add this inside our model that is hospital.patient. So I'll paste it and just I will do one thing. I'll be just I'll make some change and I'll show you I'll keep rec dot name and or I'll do one thing rec dot ID I'll do something I'll show you something rec dot reference plus so simply I have added a name get function so we initially we have to define a list so i have defined the list as a result equal to an empty list then i will be iterating the self over a for loop then i'll prepare a string that is the combination of reference plus name so what is a reference so if you go here a reference is the order reference where we will have the sequence of the patient and name is the field where we have the name of the patient so what i have done is i have updated the name as combination of a reference plus name and then I have returned or I have appended that name to the result list and I have returned it so we have added this code and let's see the difference so I'll just restart the service as I have made change in Python so there is no need to upgrade the module once you made change in Python now, uh, now I'll go to the UI and if I refresh the screen and if I click on here you can see along with the name the sequence number is also coming so there is no space between uh, the sequence and name so you can add a space like this put a, an empty string here so that you will be getting a space so if I refresh and if I come here let me refresh and if you come here still you are not having the space so I'll put a space here and let me restart the service again and if I reload the screen you can see HP008 Matthew so if you come here HP008 Matthew 
HP007, Jennifer, HP006 and Matthew. Like that you can get the combination of name and a reference. And for an enhancement, suppose if you need to put inside a bracket, if you need to put this inside a bracket, you can do like this. You can do like this. That is, we are putting the reference inside a square bracket plus name. So here we have multiple space after. So I'll just remove a space and let me restart. You can see what I have done is I have made a reference inside a bracket that is square bracket plus name. So if I come back to here, you can see that HP008 is coming in a square bracket then the name. So this is how the name get function is working in Odoo. Suppose in many to one field if you need to get the listed value as a combination of multiple fields you can do like this simply you have to define the name get function and then you can do like this suppose take a case suppose if I go to the patient here you have a different thing suppose if I need to show uh, the gender also what you can do if I need to show the gender also you can do like this plus rec dot gender you can do like this plus rec dot gender and also just put a space so that it will get aligned correctly so I'll put in a space and I'll do like this so I'm what I'm doing is that I'm adding the gender also along with a reference name and gender so if I come back here you can see reference Matthew mail is coming so this is how the name get function works in Odoo so right now I'll just remove the gender from here just only I'll give reference and name so this is how the name get function works in Odoo so in the next video we will be discussing about similar function called name search function suppose right now if you search Matthew here you can see it's getting listed here But what about if you search with the ID? So you can see once I search with the reference, it's not getting listed. So the name search function is the responsible for this. So we will be discussing about that in the next video. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, feedbacks or suggestions, don't hesitate to comment it out or reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com. So that's it. Have a nice day. Thank you.